the learning process. Three, tools for phase one, setup and framing. Remember that in phase one, the key actors define the fundamental aspects of the learning process. We have two tools to achieve this objective. The framing interview and the framing report. The framing interview is led by those who are facilitating the learning process and is applied individually to a maximum of five people who are part of the key actors. Remember that the key actors are those who have an interest in the learning process being carried out. The framing interview helps define the key elements of the learning process. The key actors are asked what issues or areas should the learning process focus on? Considering those key issues, which actors should be taken into consideration for this learning process and why? What will this learning process be useful for? In other words, what are the expected results? Ideas for the methodology, types of activities to implement, duration of the interviews, group exercises, etc. Who should the results of the learning process be shared with and what is the best channel to reach each of those actors? How much time and money will be available to implement the learning process? Any additional suggestions that the facilitation team should take into account? The framing report is the navigation guide for the learning process exercise. It allows the key actors and the facilitation team to have all of the elements in a single document that will guide the learning process, the reason it's being implemented and how it will be implemented. This report is prepared by the facilitation team. It should consolidate and organise the information gathered from the framing interviews as well as that from the document review process. The report can have the following structure. Header. What learning process is this? If necessary, include a footnote indicating the project that this learning process is part of. Period during which the framing was carried out. And clarify that this is the learning process framing report, date and author of the framing report. Objective. Expected results. Key issues and guiding questions. Stakeholders who should participate in the learning process. Audiences for the learning process results. Methodology and tools. Next steps. The roadmap and timetable for phases two, three and four with clear tasks and the responsible parties. When all these topics are clear, we can begin phase two. The implementation of the methodology. In the next video, you will learn more about the tools used during that phase.